Welcome to China Jiga Ho. Today we are going to learn Chapter 6 Linear Law. 6.1 Linear and Nonlinear Relations. Let's have a look at the learning standards. 6.1.1 Differentiate between linear and nonlinear relations based on tables of data and graphs. 6.1.2 Draw lines of bed speed for graph of linear relation with and without the use of digital technology. 6.1.2 Form equations of lines of bed speed. 6.1.4 Interpret information based on line of bed speed. Okay, let's start our lesson. What is linear relations? When listen about linear, what is come up in your mind? Linear relation involving the variables x and y and can be expressed in the form of y equal to mx plus c. Straight line is obtained when a graph of y against x is plotted. What is nonlinear relations? Nonlinear relation involving the variables x and y, which is the power not equal to y. A curve is obtained when a graph of y against x is plotted. Which is linear relations? Which is non-linear relation? This is linear relations. This is non-linear relations. Linear and non-linear relations can be identified by examining their tables of values or their graphs. Let's determine whether each pair of variables x and y are related by a linear or a non-linear relations. From the table, you can see when the value of x increases, the value of y increases too, and the value of y increases by added 5 uniformly. Therefore, we can make a conclusion that for uniform increase in the values of x, the value of y increase uniformly. Thus, x and y are related by a linear equation. Let's see another example. From the table, we can see when the x increases uniformly, the values of y increases too. But you can see that the values of y increases not uniformly. Therefore, we can make a conclusion that for uniform increase in the values of x, the values of y do not increase or decrease uniformly. Thus, x and y are related by a non-linear equation. Let's proceed to the next learning standard, which is drawing line of best fit for graph of linear relations. Characteristics of a line of best speed must be the straight line passes through as many points as possible. For points that do not lie on the straight line, there is equal or almost equal numbers of points on both sides of the straight line. Please look at the graph. Is this line of best speed? Yes, the line passes through as many points as possible and the points that do not fit onto the line are equally distributed on both sides of the line. Look at another example. Is this line of best fit? No, it is because both of the points that do not fit onto the line are on side of the line. When drawing a line of best fit, we observe the following steps. Select suitable scales for the x-axis and y-axis so that the points can be plotted 
more accurately and the graph produced is large enough. Mark the points correctly. Use a long ruler and transparent ruler to draw the line of best fit. After draw the line of best fit, the next step will be forming equations of lines of best fit. Plot a graph of a Q against P and draw the line of best fit. Form the equations of the line of the best fit. Before we find the equations of lines of best fit, we need to find the gradient of the equations. How we find the gradient of the equations? To find the gradient of the line, we need to use the formula of y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Therefore, we need to find the coordinate of y2, y1, x2 and x1 from the graph. General form of the straight line is y equal to mx plus c. After we find the value of m, we need to find the value of c to form the equations of line of best fit. From the graph, we notice that the value of c is equal to 10.2. Therefore, the equations of straight line is y equal to 5.435x plus 10.2. Let's look at another example. Plot y against x and draw the line of best fit and form its equations. From the graph, we notice that the gradient of the straight line is 1.208, while the value of c is equal to 0 0.8. Therefore, the equations of the line of lines of best fit is y equal to 1.208x plus 0 0.8. Besides form the equations of the straight line, we need to interpret the information based on the line of best fit. A line of best fit can be used to find the value of y when the value of x is given and vice versa. Determine the rate of change of y with respect to x from the gradient of the straight line. Make the projections on the values of the variables. Let's look at another example. From the graph drawn, find the value of y when x is equal to 3. Find the value of x when y equal to 0.5. Find the rate of change of y with respect to x. From the graph, when x equal to 3, we can see the value of y is equal to 0.42. When the value of y equal to 0.5, the value of x is equal to 3.5. From the answer in the part A, we notice that the gradient of the straight line is 1.208. Therefore, the answer for the part 3 is the gradient of the straight line is 1.208. Show that y increases by 1.208 units for every unit increase in the value of x. That's all for my lesson. If you wish to follow my next lesson, don't forget to like and subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching. See you soon.